Good morning, folks. We are watching the departure of a sunspot that got very shy while facing Earth, departing behind the veil of a massive plasma filament that grew at the limb and was not facing Earth when the sunspot was. Today we're going to come back to Landrew 79, mention a coming earthquake risk, and watch mainstream academia continue to catch up with electroquake science. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're going to find the last 24 hours on our star looking a lot like the activity minimum of the cycle, quiet sunspots departing, equatorial coronal hole incoming. The solar wind plateaued over the previous two days and is beginning to reduce intensity this morning, geomagnetic conditions returning to silent. The coronal hole look in 211 angstroms reveals more of that incoming coronal hole. It will connect to Earth around the time that Jupiter has its close approach, and Earth has been below average quaking for weeks, building up pressure. Hold that coronal hole earthquake thought one moment. I want to mention that Landrew 79 continues dominating the public Cassini image processing. Saturn and its moons are featured in his latest releases. Link to his page can be found below the video, along with the link to this. Remember that coronal hole earthquake connection from a moment ago. Now let's come to QuakeWatch.net and at the Prediction Center at the bottom you can find even more detailed information, but let's look top right and find our other paper from 2015. Our co-authored paper is the one cited across the field, but the same earthquake we're going to discuss today was the subject of our second paper, describing the coronal hole magnetic spike, and it happened directly facing Earth, likely while our magnetic connection was there. And this is all based on the solar magnetic fields interplay with the geomagnetic field, the ionosphere, and the global electric circuit. Now let's come back to the current study. Looking at that same earthquake and finding the electromagnetic anomalies in 200 kilometer jumps and of critical importance first, they are indeed distributed along the geomagnetic field. This suggests that electric fields in the ionosphere caused a downward drift of electrons, likely to positive anomalies on the ground, another known electric precursor by the way. It created what is essentially a zap of the global electric circuit, earthquake lightning, and if the positive anomaly below is important, then any space weather influence on the ionosphere is important too. That is huge. We've got your wind maps, including the forecasted deluge in southwestern Europe, followed by shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.